Part two of my video for October the 28th, week starting uh, 29th of October 2018. This is a monthly chart of the of uh, WTI crude. So you can see on a, on a monthly basis, we spiked above the 100 month moving average, which had held so beautifully over the past few months. We spiked up to 76.90, uh, which was almost 200 uh, ticks above that uh, resistance, but we've come back down below it. We sank down back to the 200 uh, month moving average, which again has been doing a great job of resistance there. These little spike belows, but no, nothing closing below it. So the 200 month moving average is at 66.90 area. We got down as far as 65.75. Um, it's difficult to use them as trading parameters when we are spiking above and below, but you can see within the monthly closes and opens we are we are holding within those parameters. I just thought it was worth uh, mentioning that to you, noting that to you. Right, the weekly chart doesn't tell me an awful lot, so I'm going to go straight to the daily chart. We're clearly in a bull trend, uh, although we've moved sideways, mm, yeah, very much sideways since May, so for six months odd, not really any trend direction that we could follow. Now, October, we saw a, we saw a good rally from um, mid-August up to the beginning of October, and then we collapsed back to that, back towards that August low. Zoom in a little bit here. What can I make of it? What can I make of this? Okay, so um, once we broke the 100, move, 100 day moving average, there was the sell opportunity on the bounce back. That was nice. We collapsed. But since then, no follow through. We've got three um, candles. Well, I don't know what you want to call them. But anyway, 200 day moving average, 67.40. So as long as we hold below 67.45.55, where do we get to on Friday? We got to 67.88. We couldn't hold it. Now, the question is, do we hold above the 200-day moving average at around 67.40, 67.50 and move up to 68.25, 68.45 and maybe even a selling opportunity up here at 69.50? Or do we hold below 67.50 and then continue the move lower? I wouldn't be surprised. I fancy, I fancy move to the downside. We're, we are oversold, but I think we're going to hold below 67.50. Uh, retest the low at 65.75. We've got this trend line down here as well at 65.45. So that should be good su good support in an oversold market. Uh, we've got 38.2% fib just below at 6,564.90. So that whole 65.50, 00 area is a good support level. I think that's what that's those are the words I'm trying to get out. That that is a good support area, and if we if we get down there, it's worth buying. Nice easy stop below the August low, which is 64.40, so relatively low risk trade, and then we could rock it back up at least 100 ticks to the 200 week uh, day moving average, and who knows, maybe even get up to the 69.50 area. I think I've pointed out all the levels that are important there. I think I've pointed out that it's worth buying here, and, and it is really worth selling up at 69.50, 69.60 with a stop above 70. Um, that's all I can say for oil. Trying to look at other pairs that I don't write on every day. This is a Canadian dollar versus Japanese yen. Has been good, has been bad. Um, on Friday we dipped down to the 50% fib and there's a very small trend line just going back to June there. Note how the 200 day moving average comes in just above it at 85, around 85 double O with 84, 90 the support area from the trend line and the 50% fib. Now it looks like we, we rocketed off there so it's a shame I didn't have a look at that on Friday but it's worth noting that that level again today um, or, or for this week if we get down to 85 double O, 84 90, that looks like a good support area. Clearly, the 100 day moving average at 85 30 has also been useful. We bounced off there uh, a few days before the break lower on Friday. So, as long as we hold above there, we could be headed back up to 85, yeah, 85 90, 86 double O. So, there's potential 50 odd. Uh, actually, no, 85, okay, 85 40, 85 30. So, yeah, there's a uh, 50 60 pip profit if we hold. That support level and bounce back up to there. If we get back up through 86.20, this looks more positive. Of course, this is not a big, uh, you know, not a huge trading opportunity. I'm really just pointing out short-term levels here because, of course, we're only really trading sideways. And um, unfortunately, at the moment, no swing trade opportunities. So we're looking for uh, opportunities to risk 20 pips. See if we can nick 30, 40 pips out of the profit, which makes the risk reward worth it. I should actually go over the, the, the British pound versus the Aussie dollar because this is a trade that did not work and I really thought it would. We had this trend line here on the weekly chart. 
we had the 200 week moving average, we had the 38.2% FIB all around the 83.50, 83.00 area. On this candle, we spiked down to 82.30, nothing serious because we did recover. And I would have thought last week that this would have rocketed higher, but it didn't. Now, I don't think any of you had the trade on because I haven't had any feedback from you, but uh, just not working. I think I said to you a couple of weeks ago, the longer term charts, you really have to ignore a lot of the time the market's just really not paying attention to them and the market really is only paying attention in the short term. Sometimes they're working. I've shown you some moving averages on the monthly and weekly charts that are worth paying attention to, but this market's so difficult. Well, moving sideways so much, just look at this pound versus Aussie you know, daily chart. This is just one big sideways move with no movement in one direction for more than a couple of days before it reverses. So... Yeah, I'm really paying more attention to the four hour charts and the one hour charts than the daily and the weekly charts, which is what I normally look at. All right, next pair. A look at the pound versus New Zealand dollar. Well, this is another classic case. Someone asked me to look at this. I think it was Ken. Was it you, Ken? Um, uh, yeah, I think it was. So, uh, you know, really broke nicely above the 38.2% Fib resistance at 197.20. You can see that had held so well uh, this year. And then completely just broke down through it here back up you would have thought that having retested support here it would then bounce off but it hasn't it's closed below it so these longer term levels again not really working unfortunately uh oh well this is a trend that you could have run this is certainly a trend that you could have run but would i have spotted that 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 was a reversal not really i don't think so uh, i don't know why we reversed in there let's have a look let me try and figure that one out did I miss something that I should have got? Well, got the 500 week moving average there. We've got no fib levels. We've got no trend lines to look at there. Um, I think I'm just fitting that. Yeah, it's not really a trend line. Yeah, the trend line should, should really come from here. So I'm just making it up to try and make it fit, which isn't what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that doesn't really work either. It looks a bit erratic, this chart, to be fair. I don't think I can spot a reason why I would have sold it there. No, monthly chart doesn't give me any indication either. So there you go. It just happened, and uh, there was a nice trend there that I didn't spot. I wouldn't have spotted with hindsight. Now we're coming back to, down to some support around 195.90, 195.80. Probably worth the long, as we get very oversold on the downs, uh, on the uh, stochastic slopes. Stochast slow stochastic trying to say that uh the 100 day moving average at 95.40 so you'd need a stop below there that looks like a worthwhile trade buying it around 96.00195.80 stop below 195.40 is relatively low risk and if we start to reverse some of that loss there'll be a decent profit on that trade could be worth a pump uh, i'm just looking at the four hour chart we've got the 500 period moving average also around 196.05 so that's probably why we bounced from there last week um yeah maybe that is a good support level and maybe that is worth trying